Racism is a public health crisis in Chicago. That's according to Mayor Lightfoot and other city and community leaders. WGN's Kelly Davis is live at Rush University Medical Center with that story. Kelly. Hey, Ben and Lourdes, this is more than just a declaration. City leaders say they have a plan to combat systemic racism as it relates to health care, and they are ready to put it into action. Sadly, racism has taken a devastating toll on the health and well-being of our residents of color, and particularly those who are black. A recent report released a startling statistic. Black Chicagoans have a shorter life expectancy. On average, blacks in the city lived 71.4 years, while non-blacks lived 80.6 years. That gap is more than nine years. But depending on the neighborhood, it gets even wider. There is nothing natural about these statistics. They are unjust and they are preventable. The Chicago Department of Public Health did the study. It shows the five main factors for the gap are chronic diseases, homicides, infant mortality, infections such as HIV and the flu, and opioid overdoses. 80% of health outcomes are due to social factors including housing, safety, education, economic opportunity. The mayor declared racism a public health crisis at the MLK Exhibit Center in North Lawndale, but it was more than just words. The city has a concrete plan. The health department is allocating $9.6 million in COVID relief funding from the CDC to establish healthy Chicago equity zones. The six geographical areas cover the entire city and will focus on creating ways to improve equitable access to health care. Our aim is to decrease the life expectancy gap, which stands at 14 years between the Loop and Chicago's west side, by 50 percent by 2030. City leaders say the COVID-19 crisis exposed these inequities in health care, which forced them to scale up their efforts. Now they plan to carry that momentum forward. Now we have to bring that same unrelenting focus to another more pernicious public health threat, racism. Chicago is not the first major city to declare racism as a public health crisis. Other cities include Milwaukee, which was uh, the forefront of this movement two years ago, as well as Denver, Boston, and Columbus, Ohio. Live at Rush, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News.